welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Saturday of the second week of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 16 through 21. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who willed that through the Paschal Mysteries the gates of mercy should stand open for your faithful, look upon us and have mercy, that as we follow by your gift the way you desire for us, so may we never stray from the paths of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. All glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. John, Jesus had fled to the mountains to avoid the misdirected enthusiasm of the crowd. And before uh, that, Jesus had packed his disciples off into their boats. Very possibly they were much more ready to receive the adulation of the crowd than Jesus was. They must have been quite excited to have been so closely linked with the sensational act which Jesus had just done and which had stirred up the excitement of the crowd. The story that follows is much more than a mere account of a storm at sea. There's a good deal of symbolism here. It was getting dark and Jesus had still not rejoined them. They might have been feeling quite disgruntled at being sent off so unceremoniously when things seemed to be going so well for their master and them. Life without Jesus is a kind of darkness. The strong wind and the rough sea can also be seen as a symbol of the storms that can surround the church and any Christian community. The boat with the little group inside represents a Christian community surrounded by a hostile sea, which can be very threatening at times, and that still happens. Suddenly, the disciples see Jesus coming towards them. Their first reaction is in fear until they hear the comforting words, it is I, do not be afraid. That it is I is not mere self-identification like it's only me. It is I is like the two words, I am. And And here it is reminiscent of the words spoken by God to Moses from the burning bush. It's a phrase regularly used on the lips of Jesus, especially found here in St. John's Gospel. It identifies Jesus as one with God. The words, do not be afraid, occur regularly from the lips of Jesus in other parts of the scriptures as well. With Jesus close by, there is no need to be afraid. As the first letter of St. John tells us, perfect love, 
that is agape love, unconditional love, casts out fear. They wanted to take Jesus into the boat with them, but all of a sudden they found that they had reached the shore and safety. Some see a miracle in this. On the other hand, in their fear, the shore seemed very far away. With Jesus close by, they find themselves at the shore in no time. The storm was over, their fears evaporated with the presence of Jesus. The peace that only Jesus can give has come. And we can have the same experience. Just know that Jesus is ever present and we need just to call out to him in our fears. And we can expect the answer. It is I, do not be afraid. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. Let us complete a divine reading now with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support this channel. And also, Pass along the links to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all, and have a great day.